I love to fill a garden with plants. Now I'm talking every nook and cranny, including vertical spaces, which is why I'm going to be planting up one of these. This is an elk horn fern. It's an epiphytic fern, which means it grows on things like a tree. It doesn't actually need soil. Its roots make the most of leaf litter and rotting bark to feed the plant. And it comes from northeastern New South Wales and into Queensland. Now, when you buy it like this in a pot, you need to be able to transfer it onto a mounting board like this. Now, this is two bits of salvage jarrah, which is a hardwood, nice and durable. And I've got a mounting hook on the back. Now, the trick is to secure it in a way where it's going to stay put and also design it and put the right materials in so it can be kept moist. With some coir matting, I create a pouch and then mark out six evenly spaced locations for screws, which will act as anchor points. Right, time to sort the plant out. So I'll take it out of the pot carefully, like that. And I can scrape a lot of this media away. And you can see the plant's got lots of fine roots, the leaves clearly, or the fronds, and then these plates or scales, also known as shields. And that's what will eventually envelop the board and really hold it on securely. So I'm making sure I'm not taking those off. So I'm going to wrap it into this pouch and you can see I'm leaving a slit down the front and that's so those scales or shields will grow out of there and eventually wrap right around this. It's like an ice cream cone if you like. Before that goes in, I've got a little off cut here. I'm going to tuck that down inside to stop some of the media that is on there from coming out the bottom. You can see just like that. The plant sits in its little pouch and I tuck the koi mat carefully around and under the leaf shields. Once in place, I'm holding it together with a metal clip or you could use wire. You can see now I've got this pouch where I can fill with some media and this is really to ensure that there's plenty of moisture holding capacity around those roots. I'm going to pack in some hydrated koi chips. So this is just shredded coconut husk essentially. Great for holding moisture, and it kind of mimics decomposing bark. But in and amongst that, something a little finer, which is seed raising mix. Now, seed raising mix is essentially made up of composted bark fines and composted coir. So again, it lasts a long time. It's not like soil as such. It's really just broken down organic matter. There's also a little bit of controlled release fertilizer in that seed raising mix. Now I need to secure it to the board using some wire running over the pouch and around the screws to hold it in place. Well, look at that. Secure, neat and tidy, ready to hang. I have a perfect sheltered spot to hang this next to my outdoor shower where it'll get some broken morning sun through the surrounding plants, but afternoon shade. All it needs now is a regular watering and a bit of organic fertiliser every now and then. Doesn't that look great? I'm looking forward to watching this one grow for years to come.